YouTube, my name is Dark and Blade Gaming. Welcome to the finale of Pinky's Mod. Now, since last episode, I've defeated the Moon Lord one more time, and I now have solar armor. So let's just check out this. I have 176 damage, so 80 and 85 damage. Now with this on, I have 193 and 98, plus the whole... Yeah, I also get a dash. Uh, let's buff up for this and go fight the final boss of the mod, the Mind God, which is kind of a generic name now that I think about it. Yeah, I have everything needed to summon forth thine furious. Oh, no, actually, I should probably put on my spike tart. This was kind of uh, like I, I kind of like this place. It wasn't just a generic. Um... Also, I got full health, by the way. So now I have sixteen hundred health. If you can believe that, that's actually a really nice number. But yeah, in order to uh, summon forth the, f the mind god, we need to insert one of everything. It doesn't need to be in. I need the, the ritual piece. Okay, damn it. Uh, I have enough buffs. I can always get more if I need to. Oh, yeah, so I got them. Wait, oh, no, I got that last episode. Dark ritual piece. Got it. I also got the sun. This, this uh, daybreak. Turns out it's not that good. When I can just do this. Yeah, this weapon is kind of broken. Now, let's begin the ritual. Dissonance, got any dissonance. I should have realized that. I thought I only need. Oh, I'll start to run low. Dissonance. Well, it wasn't the best idea to do it. There we go, dissonance. Happening. 
Oh, this is an absolute mess. Yeah, remove these goddamn particle effects. Oh, great, now I'm confused. Yeah, that, 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 that'll make this better. Wow, I could not tell what was going on there. Like, I, I was... There's just so many particle effects that don't do anything. There's all the stars in the background and those weird... things. I just couldn't... I couldn't tell what I was supposed to be doing. And then what mine got itself is moving so fast. How much health did it have? Uh, this is another post Moon Lord boss that that just is not very good because it. Just... I'm kind of getting sick of this, where it's the uh, final boss is consistently disappointing because they're still old and they they think the best way to make a good Moon Lord post Moon Lord boss is. Spam projectiles, move fast. This one, it's all the- oh god, all those particle effects. I'm gonna nail up potions, aren't I? Okay, let's grab some platinum. Aside from the flood the screen with reactiles attacks, which he had like two of, and that, those could be changed. Spiked heart. Okay, I've got like a hundred defense and. Also, if 
but if a boss is mostly projectiles, don't give it contact damage. That is one thing you should definitely be doing. If, if I give it contact, if you can give it contact damage, then it's damage. Don't just give it straight up if you... And, uh, I'm not doing this. I, 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 I'm not gonna fight a boss where I can't tell what's an attack and what's just a particle in the background. I, I just... I, this, this, I know it's the second series in a row that I've done this. Is it? Wait, no, I did, I did, I did Mega, Mega, Mega Mod in Twin Spirit, and now... And even then, I had to switch. But yeah, this is... Picky Mod... I'll just give my final thoughts, and that'll be it. I am not going to... I'm not gonna go through this. I'm not just gonna end up dying, because I can't figure out what it's supposed to be dodging. The game, this, the mod developer decided that. What is that? Whatever it is, it's dead. It's like a rainbow salon. Yeah, my final thoughts on the mod it needs work. It definitely needs work. It has some good parts, like I'd like the dungeon constructor, but if I get to craft it, summon is really boring. You can definitely do a lot more with that. You know Just show how far we can let's slaughter them in this line. and you get you go through the forest and there's machine you have to dodge around cobbles with machine guns because rapid fire high damage when early the game is not really the best situation and then there's nothing there's no loot so there's little this this was the best thing I got out of it which to be honest is actually kind of broken it basically says you take 20 less damage from five attack, max five attacks. And since I'm not a mage, I don't care. But yeah. Um, let's look, let's look at all the bosses. Valeris wasn't very good. Uh, the Sunlight Trader could have been better. The Harpies were the real problem. It's just them spawning and being really annoying. You know? Just generally being a nuisance. The... Like, the Heart of the Cavern needs a full rework, in my opinion. It's just not a fun boss. It, it's okay if the, like, you have to go through, like, six minutes of grinding, or at least you did with me, of killing enemies, which, basically, it's not that difficult because there's only two enemies that actually reach you if you stand on the platforms. And that means you have to stand on the platforms because they spawn, he's spawning so many enemies that it's pretty much just a sea of... It's just a sea of, um... It's just a, uh, a sea of enemies, so if you try to actually fight them on the ground level, you're gonna die. And then it starts, and sure, it's like, okay, you, you dodge projectiles, and you, you dodge the laser, and that's it. That's literally it. Besides him summoning a few minions, that's it. And the only way they make the fight more difficult is by saying, now they shoot more projectiles until the screen is filled with them, and there's like no chance of fighting, dodging them. Which actually was probably so not as bad with the mind god which had all the problems but yeah but the uh, the uh sand chong like the like the other mini bosses were okay what is that rainbow bricks is it like a small version of the hollow but, yeah uh 
Sanchon was actually pretty good. They just needed to tone down the spawn rates and maybe, like, because the progression was really weird with that. Yeah, you had to dog, you had to run past a, um, you had to run past a, um, the, the, the crystal oil because you couldn't damage him. Or at least I think you couldn't. And then that about the only way to kill the two damage is to kill the three oracles. Except one of the oracle, not one of the sigilites. Except one of the sigilites was behind the crystalline oracle, meaning you had, you had to run past him. Like that was really weird. And then there was um, the missile sign was actually pretty decent. But, uh, what, like, the one problem I really had with it was just, it, it had too many minions. The minions were the real problem, they didn't need to turn on the minions. But, overall, it was actually a fairly good fight. Gemma Hive... Gemma Hive was weird, but, uh, it, it works as a mini-boss. It's, 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 it's a minion survivor. The minions can be more interesting, but it's, it's a mini-boss. Uh, the gatekeepers were fairly decent, but randomly being able to inflict confusion is... Like, no boss should ever inflict confusion or freeze. That is a fact of Terraria. Never break it. Confusion is a very powerful debuff because it, there's no like there's no visual signifier other than you just started moving in the opposite direction. And not only that, but it hits twice when it activates and then when it hits off. So just give me that in a boss, and it, like that's that's it's. Uh, Freeze with a signal because you, it, it, prevent, it drastically impairs your movement and feels not It's the same reason you hated the, uh, the rune ghost in the, in uh, Quirties because it has a guaranteed chance to freeze you whenever it hits blue attacks. That and it's also very much projectile stick. Oh, hey, another one. Yeah. Well, onto the murder list you got. And that's pretty much all the bosses. We are stronger, yes, but not strong enough to take on the un... Like, the, they have particle effects and all that, that looks like they... Yeah, my final verdict? It has potential. Like, there are some really good ideas. Wow, another one. Like, Sanchon has a good idea, and. But. There's, a, there's, there's another problem. The lore does not take itself seriously. Like. I've read some of the lore, and it, 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 it tries to alter between epic world spanning and memes, memes, more memes. Like. I, if we, I don't think we've looked at Polaris' lore. Yeah, his lore is really that he had a retarded brother and the retarded brother cloned himself and that's why we have it for stupid harpies. That is literally his entire lore. That's one startlingly insensitive. And two it's, it doesn't fit the consistent tone with um yeah, and look, there's twin worms of doom, and that are born from the dungeon instructor, an undead mage being tortured, and these beings fall from his home. You don't pair that with twin worms of doom. You, 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 that, that, it's just such tonal dissonance. Like, pick one. You either want to be funny meme mod, or, you know, serious mod. Like, you can have a couple funny, um, excerpts, but you, should, you, you, you need to pick a consistent tone for the majority of things. Uh, mid Rainbow Sludge, yeah. It's... Yeah, so, and like, it just refuses to pick a consistent tone, and like, there's also the problem with weapon tones. Like, this thing is horribly broken, broken, and I've seen a lot of other weapons that are similarly broken. Like, the Gertrude's Blade, that, um, like, it, it's consistent high damage in pre-hard, like, it does more damage than I think Knight's Edge. It's supposed to 
PvP and they were appropriate. Yeah, and because of that, the bosses are scaled appropriately, or, you know, less appropriately. Um, the Dungeon Constructor went down pretty quickly because I had this weapon, no, not this weapon, the weapon before. The, like, and even look at it. Look at the oh, the Earth light that we got, which was very fast. Like, it was about you know, it's a bit slower than this, and the Terror light, which was really slow, because these weapons these weapons are just a lot more powerful than vanilla. The bosses are a lot more powerful than vanilla. Uh, and that's the problem I keep having. Like there are power creep is a very serious problem in Terraria mods because once you go past Moonlord, there's no real limit. There, like, you don't have anything to go off of. And, so most mods lose their way, but there are, then there are mods like this in Calamity, which are just like, yeah, we're not gonna do like, but no, that's fine, but you need to understand that, um, it comes with drawbacks. And I honestly do not think any mod, like, mods should try to be, like, vanilla in terms of stats. In terms of damage output. Like, let's compare this, which is a post-Moonlord weapon, I think it's around 1500 DPS. No, but yeah, 1500. And this. Yeah, this is available before Moonwalk. And it does more damage. It's easier to hit, it does more damage, it has a larger area of effect. It's easier to hit, like, let's see. Yeah, it's got, it's got a fire. It's got a higher, a higher fashion. And, that, and then. Then we get to the, the, the problem that I keep having. It doesn't really feel like this mod is finished. Like, it, no, like, Mo Mod of Redemption feels complete somewhat. Like, aside from the fact that Gears is missing, it feels like if, if, if they added Gears next update, the mod could be complete, and then that would be it. Well, that that and the third, um, the, the fourth build total, you know what I mean. They, they could add two bosses, and to me, it would feel complete. This feels like it, it would need so much, because it's got all this lore in the background. Like, Modern Redemption handles its a lot of lore by only barely mentioning it. This, it, it layers you on. Like, it feels like you'd need dozens of bosses to, to fully realize it. And, yeah, and like, there are also the stuff that's blatantly unfinished, like the Twilight Islands. And the void, like the void. The only thing to do there is gather dissonance, and that's one crafting material. And that mine a, mine a bit of ore. That is literally all you can do there. There's nothing you can really get out of it. It just feels unfinished. And I've been ranting for long enough. So until next time. Wait, no. First, I want to know if you got all the way to the end of this video, please respond to what mod I should do next. I'm thinking of doing either Ultranium or Shadow the Bat. Because uh, those I've heard have fairly decent re reputations, and Ultradium just got an update, so... Um, just respond in the comments what you want me to do next. So, until next time, my name is Darkenblade Gaming, and I hope you all have a great day.